Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to yet another video from my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what kind of jobs do people with a computer science background or information technology background or any other undergraduate or master's degree with a relatable field in computer science get. First of all, coming to what kind of field is computer science. As you know, every latest advancements are happening in the world with the help of technology. And technology is mainly study of computers and how you can manipulate with information and data and how you can get the most out of it. There's a lot of demand for computer science professionals. A lot of scope means that there's a wide variety of jobs with different specializations. First of all, I would like to speak about a web developer job where you're involved in developing web pages and website. There are mainly three kinds in this. First is a front-end developer. Second is the back-end developer. Third is the full stack developer, which means you're fluent and know how to implement and work with both the front end and back end. To help you guys, I will be providing a major tip in this video of how to secure a computer science job. And it actually is very important in securing a job. I'm telling this based on my experience. So stay tuned and watch this video until the end so that you don't miss out that major tip, which helps you secure the job. Let's talk about a front end web developer. This person is usually involved in the implementation of the front-end part of the web pages or the websites. So this is the part a user sees when he visits a web page or a website. The basic tools used for implementation are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now let's talk about a back-end web developer. This person is usually involved in the process of how web pages work or how they transfer information or data between two web pages. And suppose a user clicks a button what all actions or events should happen in the background so that it facilitates the required output. Now coming to the full stack web developer. This is a person who basically knows both the front end and the web back end part. The job of web developer is expected to grow by 13% by 2026 as every organization or company or even a person who wants to start a startup or any other business for that matter. The only way for him to get a lot of users and attract internet users especially in this age of internet and AI every organization will try to implement their own website that's why the demand for this is nowhere going to drop the second job that I would like to talk about is a mobile application developer as the smartphone technology continues to evolve the need for skilled mobile app developers is going to rise by 19 percent between now and 2024 in this role, it is expected that you be fluent with programming languages such as Java, C, C++, and Python. You will also be working with the product and design teams so that you will know what the customer actually needs or what the customer is facing difficulty with so that you can create new technological solutions. In this role, you will create application software for different platforms like iOS, Windows, and Android for now. If any other such very great platform is going to come in the future, you should also be able to learn the technologies and tools to be able to implement or write programs for that platform. The third job that I would like to talk about is the most popular job in the computer science industry, at least to the extent of what people know of as being a computer science student. That is a software engineer job. A software engineer basically writes code that allows computer applications to run smoothly and execute functions properly. You should be fluent with programming languages like C++, Python, Java, or C, or any other programming language that you like. You should also be fluent with data structures and algorithms, which helps you implement algorithms for the solution or topic that you're writing the code for. And as you work with a lot of cross-functional partners and stakeholders, you'll be testing and debugging applications. Actually, a single software engineer doesn't do all the work that I just told, there are different roles of being a software engineer. For example, you can be the person who just writes the code. You can be the person who tests applications. You should also know the theory of the principles of software engineering, like uh, software design, function oriented software design, which includes functional requirements, non-functional requirements, modularity, cohesion, coding standard and code review techniques, and many more. Actually, if you need an in-depth video for any of the profiles that I've just said, which might include information like job prospects, salary in different parts of India itself or even abroad, what kind of resources to use, which kind of resources are the best in the market, 
which might help you a lot to learn about that particular profile. So subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as I'll be uploading many more computer science and information technology videos, not only in those but related to technology overall. A systems architect is someone who designs and maintains computer systems and networks. This person conceptualizes plans and designs technology solutions to meet the organization's IT architecture needs. In simple words, is an architect of computer systems. This person should also be fluent with programming languages, as in few cases they work very closely with the developers for the implementation of the solution. The next job profile I would like to talk about is a machine learning engineer. This person is usually involved in the implementation and development of different machine learning models that can automatically learn and improve independently. This person should be well versed with different machine learning algorithms, neural networks, deep learning, and how to build neurons and models that can fit with the data and predict data. A machine learning engineer should also be very good with data visualization tools and also be clever as to which kind of tool to pick depending upon the application. As most of the times the stakeholders don't understand the actual statistics and the computer science knowledge behind it, you should be able to pictorially represent the results and outcomes of the machine learning models or even the predictions by doing so say scatter plots, joint plots or different kinds of probability distributions. The next job profile that I would like to talk about is an IT consultant. For example, take the very large company of India, Tata Consultancy Services. Every person who works there does a similar kind of job. An IT consultant works with clients and is involved in the design and installation of information technology systems to meet the client's business objectives, overcome problems and even improve the efficiency of their IT systems. That role is similar to that of system analysts, system designers and application programmers whose roles are most specialized but nonetheless they work on a consultancy basis. The next job profile that I would like to talk about is a game developer. There are two parts for being this. The first part is when a person is actually involved in the flow of the story, the art, animation and storyboarding. Second is when you are doing the programming part where you are using programming languages such as C++ or tools such as Unity to design the whole thing in a computer. Game developer is very interesting and the demand is not going to fall at all. You can unleash your creativity. Let's talk about the next job profile. This is the information systems manager. This person is responsible for secure and effective operation of computer systems in the company or the organization. He is also responsible for ensuring all the systems are backed up and the backed up systems are working effectively. This person's role also involves providing IT advice and support for users, purchasing hardware and software, protecting all the users who are using the computer systems in the organization from internal and external attacks. In simple words, providing a secure access which cannot be hacked. This doesn't go much into hacking or any ethical hacking ways, but a basic kind of security layer is needed. The next job profile that I would like to talk about is a database administrator. This person is purely involved in the database maintenance, is responsible for developing databases and maintaining the security layer so that not anyone outside the organization can access the database and he's responsible for designing the database and what kind of features uh, have to be managed so that the database comes out exactly how it's needed using all the stakeholders information. The other job profile that I would like to talk about is a data scientist. Data science is currently being hyped and it's trending a lot. There's a lot of demand for data scientists and data engineers. These are people who basically work with lots of data. They use their computer science, statistics and some business skills so that they extract a lot of insights from the data and they can help better the business. There are a lot of examples in the real world where machine learning is making a lot of difference and data scientists do a lot of machine learning in their day-to-day -day work. If you want to know a lot about how to become a data scientist and everything about data science, you can check out my another video which I recently uploaded. I will leave a link to that in the description. Please check that out guys because it has all the latest information about data science. The next job profile that I would like to talk about is a cyber security consultant or an information security specialist. Cyber security is becoming very important in the modern world. 
In this role, you'll focus on understanding the risks to the security of information or data. You will detect if any attacks have been occurred and you'll try to restore the systems against those data breaches. Cybersecurity is really important for the security and privacy of your information or data in the company. And ethical hacking also comes under this category where you deliberately hack into the employer's network to check if there are any weaknesses or those dead spots where a person can hack into the whole organization's computer architecture. Okay guys, let me tell you the major tip to secure a job in the field of computer science. That is work on your interview and interpersonal skills, also known as soft skills. The way you explain and articulate or answer the questions asked by the interviewee is very important because only in that way will the interviewee know how much knowledge you possess. If you are unable to talk properly, at least in English, then how will the interviewee know that you possess all the skills required for that profile? I have seen a lot of my friends get rejected despite having a strong competitive coding, programming background and a very high code chef rank and even a good GPA. They were just rejected because their interview skills were not good and they couldn't explain what they understood. Thanks a lot and staying with me until the end for obtaining all the information that you required. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any new video that I upload. Thank you.